Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel of Tarot. Today I'm going to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for the second half of October. Please remember the timing is flexible and this is a general reading. If you'd like a personal reading or something more specific, my information's in the description box. Uh, you can also check out uh, my video playlist. I have the other signed readings in there as well. There may be um, messages for your other um, signs in your chart. Uh, actually, we have some flipper cards here. Let's turn them over. Um, I actually had a comment today on my Taurus video that... Um, uh, someone saw a white orb, and I don't normally go and watch my videos after I record them, so I went and checked it out, and um, sure enough, there is a white orb there. So if you want to check out the video, you can see the white orb. I did feel um, strong presence uh, from my angels and my guides last night, more so than normal, so check it out. Um, if you're new to my channel, first half is the tarot, second half is the oracle cards. I do pick an angel. There's three stacks. You'll pick which one you're most drawn to, and then those will be the messages for you. So the first stack is the baby angel. Second stack is the masculine angel. I have trouble looking at them. The masculine's a little bit bigger than the feminine, feminine here. So the, and then here's the feminine. So look at the three angels, see which one you're most drawn to, and then those will be the messages for you. All right, let's get started. Oh, they're already falling out here. Let's get two more cards, please. Two more cards. What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? For October, let's get two cards, please. Let's get two cards. All right, all right. And we're gonna pull three more before I get started. Let's get three more cards. I got a flipper card there. Let's get three more cards. What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? There's one. Let's get two more cards, please. Two more cards. And let's get one more card, please. What does Sagittarius need to know? Let's get one more card. What does Sagittarius need to know? For mid to end of October. Let's get one more card, please. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. There it is. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. So the first two cards that came out, I feel here in the past, you have the devil card and you have the two of wands. So I feel in, in the past there was a situation where you had um, you had two choices, okay? You had a journey. You could go to one path or you could go to the other, okay? I felt here for some of you this may have been um, temptation. This may have been between two lovers. Here with the devil card, this could be a Capricorn. Here, wands, um, this is your ener energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel here there was a decision that you had to make, okay? This could be love, this may not be love, okay? But I feel here, um, you know, it was a hard decision, okay? I felt, uh, feel like you felt like you were at a crossroads here, okay? And you can see here, she's holding the apple in one hand and there's one over here. Like there's something tempting her to take that other apple, okay? So definitely there was a decision that you had to make. Now remember, roles can be reversed. This can be the other person in your life as well. First, uh, the next card we have is Six of Cups. So I feel like um, this could be someone who's water energy in your life. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is definitely somebody um, who is a soulmate. Um, or somebody from a past life, okay? Um, but I feel here with this decision, it involved this person, and then we have the Tower card. So I feel here when this decision was made, I feel like um, I feel like things fell apart, okay? Um, that it was a surprise, okay? So this may be a surprise to you 
this may be a surprise to the other person, but things fell apart. There wasn't that same stability in the situation that there was before. Okay, so I definitely feel here um, this decision that was made in the past um, definitely affected the current situation that you're in right now. Now, the good news is, even though that happened, even though I feel like there was chaos, there was a situation um, where maybe the decision that was made was not the best decision, okay? And it caused this chaos or this turmoil, okay? For some of you, this could be separation, this could be divorce, could be a lot of things, all right? But it was something unexpected, okay? But the good news is I'm showing here that that you you came out of it, okay? You or this person came out of it. Here with the Temperance card, this is your card, Sagittarius. You're finally gaining the balance in your life right now, okay? You're working to get that equal um, temperature, okay? You're mixing the hot and the cold water. You're getting that equal temperature to find the perfect balance in this situation. And guess what? The next card you have is Six of Wands. Okay, again, your energy, Aries, Zero, Sagittarius. All right, so this means you came out, you're coming out as a winner here. You're coming out like you just finished the race, that all the people were cheering you on, and you crossed that finish line. So that is beautiful. Even though you had some struggles um, and you made this decision and, you know, it may um, have hurt the person in your life, okay, you came out on top. And, uh, and like I said, roles can be reversed. This person may have hurt you by the decision they made. That's what I'm feeling there. Okay, so now I'm going to pull two cards and ask, what does Sagittarius really need to know? There's one. What is really, really important that Sagittarius needs to know for October that shouldn't be overlooked? Um, too many cards there. Or what is... Whoa! the main okay I, one flipped over we're going to take that the main focus is what i was going to say before we move on to that i'm going to pull um one more card uh, from the goddess guidance oracle deck what is really really important for sagittarius to know let's get one card please All right. Okay. So beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius. So I'm going to read these two cards first. So we got lots of um, earth energy here, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. And then we have the, ooh, the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel here, Sagittarius, you're, you're working hard and I feel like your, your hard work is going to pay off. Like I said here, you have victory here with the Six of Wands. So whether this is, excuse me, this is love, this is career, I feel like you are um, do, going to do very, very well here. I feel like you're going to receive an offer, okay? And I really feel like this is actually, for these two cards, I feel like this is financial, okay? I feel like your hard work has paid off. Either you've made investments or there is some opportunity coming your way. It's really going to pay off. Either that or I feel here, um, there may be some job offer or with work, there may be um, some extra income that's coming in that you're not expecting, okay? Um, for some of you, this can be love, but um, I, I, I mean, I feel love here in these, this, these cards here, but these two important cards, I feel this is more financial. Now, beautiful card here from the Goddess Gardens Oracle deck, the card that you've got is Bright Future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Okay. So look at this. This goddess here. Okay. She's got all these jewels on her. This is an indication that you're going to have a bright future. Don't worry. You may have had some struggles in the past. Like I said, there was some decision you made here that may have not gone, may have not gone very well. But I feel here you're going to have a bright future here, okay? I feel it has to do with finances too. Okay, so I'm going to pull now one card from the Lover's Oracle deck and see what message there is for you. 
message to Sagittarius need. Here we go. The message that you got is called friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your life will dramatically improve. Okay, so definitely feel here this person in your life. Um, you may already have a friendship um, or this fr person may be your best friend. Either the case, this message for you is that things are going to improve if you can just focus more on the friendship part of it, okay? The love will come. All right, we're going to move on now to the oracles. If you pick the baby angel, first card that came, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? So... Um, I feel here this person or maybe somebody in your life who wants to have a conversation. All right. And definitely this is from Romance Angels. So this definitely has to do with love here. Second card out is from the Angel Answer Deck. It's called Remain Positive. So your angels are saying remain positive. Good things are happening. You just got the bright um, future. They're telling you not to worry. So that goes along right with this card. Not to worry. Remain positive. Okay, the angels are looking out for you for your highest good and best intentions. Okay, the next card that came out um, is a message from Archangel Michael. It's called Focus Upon Divine and Perfect Health. Archangel Michael says that the key to good health is to focus upon your well-being instead of on, of, on sickness or injury. You drew this card as a reminder to stay centered on your desires, not your fears. Bodies react instantly to love and fear, so choose the former in this situation. Pour genuine affection and blessings into every cell. Visualize and expect perfect health for yourself and others. Speak of yourself and loved ones in terms of perfect health, affirming that all is well. So possible specific meanings, you'll notice an improvement in your health, follow your intuition regarding health and healing, your life purpose involves healing, make positive changes to your lifestyle, use uplifting affirmations, especially about health, and you may need to seek a second medical op uh, opinion. So the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is God and Archangel Michael. Thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. So beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. If you'd like a personal reading, my information's in the description box. I'm going to move on now to the masculine angel. All right, first card out, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic about your love life. So this is about having faith, putting good intentions into the universe. Don't worry, you have bright future here. Stop worrying. This is about putting those good vibrations into the universe and getting them back, okay? Being grateful for what you have, all right? Keeping a clear mind, positive energy, just letting those good thoughts come in, okay? Now, the next part that came out is from the Angel Answer Deck. It says within the next few months. So if there's some timing around something that you've really been thinking about here, I feel like your angels are giving you timing here, okay? Next card that came out is a message from Archangel Michael. And his message for you is called, God is in charge. This card comes to you with reassurance that the message that I mean, reassurance that the message is that God is in charge, taking care of all the details. Give any worries to God and stop struggling against the flow. There's a natural course that this situation is taking, and it's important to trust that things are going in the right direction direction because they are. Possible specific meanings, ask for help, and allow yourself to receive it when it's offered. Your prayers have been heard and answered. 
A miraculous solution is already in the works. Enjoy your life because God is taking care of any apparent problems. So the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is, Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. All right, so very nice message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, my info is in the description box. And then we're going to move on now to the feminine angel. Okay, so first card out, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, so I feel here for some of you, this person may be wanting to express how they feel to you. Remember, roles can be reversed. This might be you, Sagittarius, um, meaning to express how you feel to the other person. So take that one, how it resonates with you. The next card is called Get More Information. Um, so I feel here there's something um, surrounding this situation that you may need to get more information before you proceed. Okay. Um, I feel here this may be um, the work situation, okay? I said that I feel like there may be an opportunity that's coming your way. So you may need to get more information about this opportunity, okay? The next card that came out is a message from Archangel Michael. It's called, Keep Your Eyes on the Targeted Intention. Okay, so this card says, Archangel Michael has been guiding you along the path of your life's purpose. Can you feel the rush of excitement whenever you think about your desired occupation and activities? This is a signal that you're on the right path, and this card reminds you to keep a steady eye on your goals. Continually visualize that you already have the career or volunteer work of your dreams. See yourself helping people or issues that are dear to your heart, Imagine that you have complete financial security while you devote yourself to this important work. And I talked about the hard work and opportunity. I see that already here. Any desire you have is viable as long as you stay focused upon it. The path to making your intentions a reality may differ from your expectations, yet the outcome is likely, likely to exceed your dreams. Know that the angels will walk beside you throughout your journey. Keep the faith and keep going. Possible specific meanings. Make a dream board. Use construction paper. Create a collage with cut out photos and phrases from magazines that reflect your dreams. Affirm daily that your dreams are already a reality. And if you want to say the prayer with me, it says, Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. So beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, my information's in the description box. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.